stemmed from a heated argument as the couple were walking home from a 4th of July Independence Fest held in a local park. The fight reportedly turned physical. Then they got into their car, driving less than three miles away from the park. When Brownlee stopped the car, he pulled out a tanned Glock firearm from the driver's door pocket and allegedly shot Zara in the face above her right eye. I mean, anytime you hear a story such as that, it's going to be just astounding to where you are just taken aback. That any person can be charged with such a heinous crime, that is something that is definitely intentional. Um, so there's nothing that we could say that wouldn't be intentional about that action. And so it's, it's definitely something that takes me off guard. When officers arrived at the scene, they discovered the 28-year-old lying on the ground outside of the car. Brownlee was still on the scene when officers arrived and arrested without incident. Shooting someone really at any point is something that takes a, a lot of gumption from any person, right? But when you are right at the person's face, you're seeing them eye to eye, having eye contact, um, that takes more than anything in the world. Again, we go back to intentionality uh, with something like that. And so this individual in this particular case was charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. I'm surprised it wasn't, he wasn't charged with attempted murder. Um, honestly, because it's just that it rises to that level. And I wouldn't be surprised if they increase it to that charge. Texas-based criminal defense attorney Bridget Williams explained